Hello friends, welcome to SR Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another scenario-based SQL interview question which is asked in Motivity Labs. Before solving the scenario, right, I wanted to thank all of you. We have successfully completed 1 lakh views in the last week. So I have seen a lot of positive feedback in the comments as well and couple of questions frequently requesting by our subscribers. So let me let me talk about our channel just i wanted to give i wanted to take two minutes okay so first thing is what are the things which we are going to discuss in our channel what are the videos which is available first is if you wanted to learn sql right there is a sql playlist from basic to until advanced until advanced from even basic ddl dml commands to until windowing functions you can learn everything okay lot of things which i have covered we have a 28 hours of videos available you can go through that next thing is okay next thing is next big thing is okay sql interview question these are the scenario based interview questions which is asked in as part of the data engineering as part of the data analyst data analytics as well as etl testing and etl development question these are the questions which is asked in as part of the scenario based questions like you know these this particular questions which i have prepared from different companies like it's kind of you know around 20 companies which i have prepared these questions so these couple of questions are very common so i don't want to re redo it that is the reason we have around 100 questions which you which we have discussed just go through it automatically you will easily clear the interview for three years as part of the etl testing i can assure you that and second thing is here one more thing which we have covered unix playlist okay so from basic commands to like you know if you wanted to do any operating system like unix operating system like how to how to uh navigate from one folder to another folder how to list the files how to find the files where the file file is available and as well as how to create a directory how to lot of things which i have covered from you know uh, all basic to until SCD AWK I have covered as part of this six videos. You can go through that as well if you are willing to learn Unix. And next thing is as part of ETL, right? I have covered here. If you see ETL Informatica classes in this particular series, okay, I have covered basic transformation like filter transform, router transformation, as well as you know, couple of transformation around six to seven transformations which I have covered how the data is migrating from one place to another place as part of the ETL. So whether you are a data analyst, whether you are a data engineer, whether you are a ETL tester, whether you are a data level of, uh, data engineer, okay, you have to understand the ETL process. Okay, I'm not sure about data analyst, but make sure but remaining positions like a ETL tester, ETL developer and data engineer. Okay, these things should be must. SQL is must, Unix is must as well as SQL interview questions, which is must if you are planning to attend the interviews and ETL process also very, very important. Other than that, I have explained as part of this. Okay, one Agile methodology also I have covered Agile methodology also. So please go through this particular series. It's a very rich content last seven to eight years, which I have worked on, right? Those things I have covered most of the things here. So please utilize this opportunity. Let me get into let me get into solving the question. The question here, okay. The question here, write an SQL query to get the output. Input is here. You have employee ID, employee name. Output is here, employee ID, employee name, serial number. So this is very straightforward. If you know, if you know row number windowing function, if you know windowing function row number, the row number windowing function, what it does, basically row number function in, in Oracle, this is the windowing function which is assign a unique number to each row, to each row within a partition of a result set. The numbering starts with one. Okay. It always starts with one and it is going to increase by one. It is going to increase by per one by each row, by each row. So typically, typically based on order specified by the order by clause, order by clause within the over clause, within the over clause. Now let's get into the SQL. Let's get into the SQL here. Okay, so it is already, I have prepared the data. First, you have to create the table, whatever the data which we have, right, as part of this, okay, which we have this, this particular thing, okay, this particular thing, okay, here, create table, employees, employee ID, e name, 
these are the things i have prepared the table as well and now i have even prepared the prepare the insert statements and you can see here i have committed then you can see here table is available with us okay table is available with us now what is the i have already prepared the query as well what is the now let me remove this okay let me remove this and then i'll explain you further okay this is the row number within the row number windowing function if you do over by clause within the over clause this is the function name once you close open bracket and close bracket over clause is there within the over clause how you wanted to segregate okay how you wanted to group the data you can do that using the partition by partition by you can if you wanted to segregate the data base segregate the data based on the specific column if you wanted to create multiple windows okay multiple part windows by using the partition by clause partition by clause for example let me give you in a simplest way for example you have ravindra okay uh, here you have a 10 consider it you have a employee D, ravindra and department 10 okay and same thing here you have 20 okay 20 not with even not required same thing whatever the problem which we are trying to do that right let me explain that only here you can see okay here you can say devil here also you can say devil okay this is nothing but a you have you have four rows okay one is here this is the employee id one and here employee id two now if you do partition by partition by employee id partition by employee id what it is going to happen first for first first id you are going to get one second id you are going to get two okay and here if you see two okay what you are going to get you are going your it is not going to come as a again three here you are partitioned by employee id so automatically what is this going to come again it will come as a one here it will come as a two here it will come as a two 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 see this okay by seeing this okay will be whatever the solution which we are looking right so just using the row number we can assign the serial number we can assign the serial number then if you can order if you can order by serial number then our solution going to be completed let me do that by simply providing the solution first what are the columns which you are requiring emp id the columns are emp id and here you can see e name okay e name here in the bottom i have already executed right here you can see employee id and e name now you want it what serial number simply you can pass the row number okay a row number order by over okay over partition by partition by what partition by employee id you can give it partition by employee ID because you wanted to give it as a serial number here if you observe here you wanted to give it as a serial number based on the based on the employee ID. here you see virat kohli is available 101 virat kohli one number and you can see here 101 virat kohli two which means you are generating a sequence number here generating a sequence number by using the by using the row number see order by simply you can mention that here also employee id employee id as as you can mention that it is nothing but a serial number serial number from from which table employees i employees i here now you can see here you can see here there is a virat kohli virat kohli one as well as virat kohli two same way we, you can see remaining rows as well now what they are expecting simply they are expecting one should be one place and one row should be one place and two rows would be one one place so simply what you can do if you wanted to order it you can use the order by clause order by order by what order by serial number serial number if you do order by serial number then your answer going to be completed your answer going to be completed you can see here this is the way you can solve it thank you guys have a great day ahead. Bye.